Cross bags. What is going on guys? Today, I'd like to talk about this baby right here. So this, guys, is the WS MCR. A lot of people say it is Canada's last AR. The reason why they say that is because uh, with all the stuff with our gun laws happening over here in Canada right now, um, I don't know about saying it's the last AR. I don't even know about saying that, honestly, on, uh, on, on a YouTube video right now. <laughs> But uh, it is an absolutely beautiful gun, guys. Uh, WS MCR, it is Canadian made. It's made by Wolverine Supplies and Extreme Gun or Spectre. So it's a partnership of Wolverine Supplies with either Extreme Gun or with Spectre Limited. And that's where you get that WS and then sometimes it's called WX. WX is for Wolverine and Extreme Gun and then the WS is for Wolverine and Spectre. So the one I've got is a Spectre made one. Spectre partnership, you can see there it says WS MCR on it. So beautiful thing about this thing is uh, it'll actually fit like AR mags, AR pistol grips, AR triggers, like you can fit this thing up with AR accessories very easily. You can butt stocks, everything, right? Um, it's uh, similar to the AR. It's got a lower receiver and an upper receiver. As for the charging handle, it's a side charging handle right there. And it's got the external bolt release right over here. Safety right on this side and a mag release right here. Barrel length on this thing is I think about 18, 18 and a half or something like that. Uh, it's got a Picatinny rail all along the top over here. As you guys can see, I've got some optics on mine here. I've got backup iron sights right over here and then I've got the Vortex magnifier. So that's a 3X magnifier by Vortex. It's the VMX 3T magnifier. Um, I like it. I've got uh, the magnifier and the red dot combo right here. For the red dot, I've got the Vortex Spark AR Red Dot. It's not the solar one, it's the battery one, but you guys can check out the more detailed review video of that. Put the link somewhere in the description below or somewhere up here or whatever. And the uh, same thing with the Vortex magnifier. I've got a separate review video on that magnifier here as well. So, like I said, it's got a lot of AR compatible parts like stocks, uh, triggers, magazines, pistol grips, and, and everything else. And that's really cool because AR parts are generally very easy and pretty affordable to find. As for the stock on mine, that is Magpul. The grip is Magpul. Uh, these are, I don't, I don't know what you call these, but these are, these are Magpul there as well. So mine is uh, outfitted with some Magpul on here. Talking about the magazines, I've got a couple different types of magazines on mine. Uh, like this is the, uh, just a regular GI mag. I don't know if you guys are aware, but here in Canada, our magazines are pinned to five rounds. So this is a 30 round magazine, but it's pinned to five. Um, I've got two of these. Then I've got a couple Magpul P mags as well. Um, those are also 30 round magazines pinned to five as well. But the exception is I've got this cross mag, which is basically a little bit of a loophole up here where if you're using a pistol magazine, which that cross mag is classified as, it can fit 10 on one side and then there's another magazine attached to the bottom of it. So you got 10 rounds, 10 rounds. So what you do with this cross mag is you got 10 rounds right there, boom, boom, boom. You go through those 10 rounds, flip it around. Then you've got another 10 rounds right there ready to rock. Bit of a loophole, but I love this thing. Yeah, you do have to flip it around and do a reload, but at least you can double the capacity even just on one side. And if you flip it around, you're basically quadrupling the capacity of your magazine. So it makes for very, very fun shooting, but it can get expensive really fast, especially with the price of ammo nowadays, right? But uh, love this thing, very fun to shoot. But yeah, guys, that is basically the basics of the WS MCR right here. Canada's last AR, if you will. I'm gonna shut up right now and let's do some shooting. Let's go.
Well, there we have it guys. As you can see, this thing is just absolutely fun to shoot. It is awesome. Um, it's very ergonomic. It handles just like an AR. Like It's as good as we can get up here in Canada right now that we can't get an AR-15. And plus it just looks badass. Like It is a good looking gun. Like this thing just, pff, it looks good man. <laughs> and uh, I'm just the kind of person that would just buy a gun even just just because it looks badass and um, but not only that it is great to shoot it's a fun gun to shoot it shoots 556 five, like oh it's just a dream come true it's basically the best that we can get up here right now in Canada I love it basically all all positives I would say the only negative and the only downfall I would have to say about this thing is that um, it is very very difficult to find um, as soon as they get more stock of this thing, it literally sells out just like that. So it's very tough to get your hands on one. I believe there's even a waiting list or something. I'm not sure how long the waiting list is. Um, and when you do find one uh, that's available, um, price-wise, it is kind of up there. Uh, it is, I think right now they're selling for like 1800 or something like that. I picked mine up for 1400 but right now they've got, uh, you can buy them, they've got with a brand new lower receiver as well by Spectre. And it's a little bit more ergonomic, a little bit more smoother looking. I love it. Mine's got the uh, Generation 1 lower receiver here from Spectre. But that brand new one, the Gen 2, is absolutely beautiful. But when you buy the new ones now, they do come with a brand new uh, second generation lower receiver by Spectre as well. The thing looks absolutely sweet. But yeah. The only downfall, the only negative I'd have to say about this gun is this, number one, it's hard to find and when you do get your hands on one, number two, uh, price-wise it is fairly expensive. By the way, for that price, they don't even come with iron sights or anything like that. So you still got to buy your, your, your optics and your, or iron sights and whatever else. So I've got, like I said, I've got the Vortex uh, Spark AR Red Dot on mine and the uh, VMX 3T Magnifier Combo on mine. I love it because it just moves to the side. And when I want to put the magnifier on, I pop it up just like that. Um, like I said earlier, you guys can check out the review videos on those two in the description below. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you guys have anything to say at all, any comments whatsoever, I'd love to hear your guys' opinions and your thoughts uh, from all my viewers. So let me know in the comments below what you thought, how you like my channel, how you like my videos. Let me know maybe what you want to see next. So I don't do a lot of... I know a lot of you guys like my gun reviews, but I can't do a lot of those because I only do my reviews on guns that I own. I don't, uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't receive guns for free from any sponsors or anything like that to do videos. Um, so I would have to buy new guns to be able to do reviews on new guns. Either that, or maybe I go shooting with friends and review their their guns as well. So I know you, a lot of you guys have reached out to me already, and you guys want to see more gun review videos. But unfortunately, the situation is. That is what it is. But uh, yeah, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button to show me some support as well. And uh, if you haven't already, check out the rest of my videos on the channel. And if you guys enjoy my content in general, I would highly appreciate it if you do decide to hit that subscribe button. Also, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.